Fielded at the two. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 28. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Got the corner. Spears on the right side. And he's taken down around the 39-yard line. This back might need a breather after that run. But when he comes back, just give it to him again. It's first and 10. Ball on the 39. seven-yard line. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. Man left, man left. Two down, two down. Mike and team, Mike and team. Go, it. Scrambling around. And they got it. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. From the 30-yard line, second down. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. And down he goes at the three. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. Tackle made at the three-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. Touchdown, Green Wave. There are some guys, when they get near the goal line, they just have a knack for getting the ball into the end zone. That's what we saw right there. And he hits the PAT. An eight-play, 72-yard drive. And they come away with a touchdown. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lanes. The score now, 7-0. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Williams is coming out for the first time, home field. He loves the spotlight, and this crowd is amped right now, Kurt. Brad, we've seen over the years guys who have a chance to play at home, how they seem to play better. But this crowd's been anticipating this the entire week, and now it's right here before them. I tell you, I think he's having an effect not only on his own offense, but his own defense, and even this crowd. You talk about a difference maker. That's what this young man really is. From their own 35-yard line. First down. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. Oklahoma. 
and they make the stop at the 49-yard line. From their own 49-yard line, it's second down. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. He's out of bounds at the 30. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Here comes the pressure. Going for it all to the end zone. Knocked down, incomplete. Defense stiffens on fourth down, and the ball will change hands. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Tulane is up a score. He's scrambling. Now he's going to run and watch out. He's taken down at the 46. They'll get the first down. He made the correct decision to tuck it and go. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 46. He is drilled at the 46-yard line. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. He's on the run. Brought down right around the 42-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. Now he's scrambling. And he's going to come up with a sack. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. He's knocked out of bounds around the 27-yard line. Tulane up seven points. Nice run there. Celestine comes away with five yards on the carry. From the 22-yard line, it's second down. They'll spread the field with five wide. Makes it out to about the 13. Here's the eighth play of the series. Well, 
the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack, but somehow he's able to throw the ball away. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 13. A couple of yards there by the tailback on the counter. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Gets it. He's in space. And he's tackled at about the three-yard line. First and goal from the two. Let's see if they just don't try to power their way into the end zone here. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. And so he found his receiver for the score. And the closer you get to the end zone, the more difficult it becomes to throw the football because the field becomes much smaller to work with. But they did a very nice job there to come up with the touchdown. And he converts the extra point. like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. And he's hammered down. They need to show a little giddy up now because if they don't start eating into this deficit, they could easily fall out of the game. At about the 29-yard line. Jones gets three yards on the carry. Second and six coming up here. Ball on their own 29. He gets rid of this one. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's tackling around the 38-yard line. First and 10. Ball on their own 38. He makes his way to about the 45. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 45-yard line. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. And he adds the extra point. Lynch has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He'll take it from the two. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 26. Tulane's making a bid for an upset here today, Herbie. But do they really have it in them, do you think? Brad, it's been a, it's a great start by this team. But I just can't see them holding up for four quarters. I think eventually you'll see the better team emerge. 
And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. They'll give it off here. Gets out to around the 38. From their own 38-yard line, it's first down. Tulane is up seven. Now he tries to buy some time. He's wrapped up for the sack. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. He's going to try and scramble. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. And he's level at the 49. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. Nice job by the running back, and that'll get him seven, maybe eight yards. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. Field for a loss. Good solid defense there to force them into a fourth down situation. Big kick here to try to pin the offense deep in their own territory. That turned out to be a nice little punt there. It was just a little pooch kick, but it was very effective. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Tackled for a loss. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. So after one quarter of play, can it continue to be this high scoring? Tulane in front, 14-7. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. He's out to the 30. He's to the 40. The 50. At the 30. And he's taken down at the 25. So we've got a first down after a great running play. to his receiver. They'll bring him down at about the 11. Pitches it. He's got the corner. Touchdown, Trojans. Design play to get the hat back into the end zone. Hey, for this guy, it doesn't matter how much strong it up. He can make his own play as he goes along. That was a nice run. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he tacks on the extra point. USC to kick. Taken from the three-yard line. <laughs> Tackle at the 24-yard line. Oh, 
This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Tackle made at the 23-yard line. That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. intended target so that'll make it fourth down the defense held their ground on that play the quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Finds the junior, and down he goes. Right around the 50. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 50. hit immediately and he didn't have much of a chance on that play boy this defense has a lot of speed they're all over him by the time he caught the ball and they make the stop at the 44 yard line they're about four yards away here on third down Go with a screen here, and the halfback's got it. He's taken down at the 37. Got an opening. Gains his way to the 23-yard line. From the 23-yard line. First down. Hauls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. This is the kind of play you want to see if you're a defensive player because not only is it a negative play, but this can really impact and affect the emotion of the game. Just looking down and looking at the energy on the field and even on the sidelines, you can see that the defense is fired up after that play. And he carries the ball for a nice game. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Tackles him hard at the two. A one-yard gain by the halfback. The offense is staying on the field. It's all or nothing. Here we go. Zips it to the back. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Huge play for the defense. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. They come out in a goal line set. Three. 
with a quick throw. It's knocked away, incomplete. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. Second down. Tough spot here deep in their own territory. Down at the seven. The back gets three on the carry. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. And they push him out around the 19-yard line. From their own 19-yard line. First down. a great tackle at the 20. Pickup of a yard for the tailback. And they get nice yardage on that run. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. They come out in a five-wide set. On the catch, and he steps out. Screen to the receiver, nothing doing. This is the eighth play of this drive. A little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see movement on the other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. So it's second down and 15 after the penalty. Gets to about the 27-yard line. Design quarterback draw there, and it gets him about two yards. This is the ninth play of this drive. He might not be able to get the pass off, and he is drilled at the 21. Fourth and long here after the sack. Glover is the punter. Brought down at the 46-yard line. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. And they got him for a loss. From their own 43-yard line, second down. Slings it, and he's tackled at the 47. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. Let's see if he aims for the sideline and tries to get this thing down deep in their own territory. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Tackle at the 18. 
Really good play here and run support by the linebacker. The big guys up front took away the running lanes, and he was able to get through for a loss. From their own 18-yard line, it's second down. Quick throw. He's tackled around the 36-yard line. it right and he can't get back to the line loss of two by the halfback it's second and 12 ball on the 34 looks like he flinched down there on the line just a middle lapse but it's going to cost him five yards run up the middle so he picks up about five on the option to the halfback we've got third and 12 ball on their own 34 the quarterback in the gun with five receivers he's at midfield makes it out to about the 46 the 46 yard line it's first down and he hits him hard the 37 yard line not a bad little play there yeah this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game they come out on an empty backfield and he's hit before he can go anywhere First and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. He launches one for the end zone. He scores. What a play. What a strike for the score. And he did a nice job of looking off his defenders. converts the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. USC's gotten the play out of their quarterback, and you expect that that was going to happen, but, I mean, what is happening here? Somebody else is going to have to come to the forefront, or this thing's going to be over. If you would have told me before the game that this quarterback would have played like this through the first quarter and a half or so, I would have thought this team would have been leading this game. You're right. Something has got to happen where the, his teammates, the rest of this group, they've got to raise their game if they want to have any chance of winning this game. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the 31-yard line. Fires to the wide out, first down. And he's taken down at about the 43-yard line. USC is going to have to use their second time out of the half. They'll spread the field with five wide. They'll bring him down around the 31-yard line. one's going deep to the end zone he goes up and gets it it's a touchdown how do they let the tight end get 
so open on such a big play. That was poor defense. Looks like there was some miscommunication between the safety and the linebackers, which caused for him to get so open. Will be tied with the extra point. And he adds the extra point. USC is lining up to kick this one off. He'll return it from the three. Across the 30. And he's taken down at the 31. Well, the points are coming like snow flurries in the winter. <laughs> and we still have time to go here in the first half. Who knows? Maybe we can get a couple more touchdowns out of this. They punched it in for six on the last series. Can they do it again? As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. He scrambled. Tackle made at the 33. Tulane will have one timeout remaining. Second and nine coming up here. Ball in the 33. Tries to set up a screen for the wide receiver. And he's level at the 38. his man on the screen and down he goes at the 50 yard line he lets it fly that close to being intercepted this is a very well coached defense they know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes from the 50. Second down. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. I guess he'll throw this one as far as he can and hope for a miracle. Going deep. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. We played a half of football. 21-21 ball game. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. It's all about perspective. Everybody who loves offense loved that first half. Lots of big plays, explosive plays. Offense has really got into the rhythm. But then there's the responsible opposing view, finding all the things that went wrong on the defensive side. Yeah, it, it's twofold. You know, there's an offense and there's a defense. And at some point, I'm defensive glad you, guys. I'm glad you've noticed that. Yeah, well, I didn't notice it in the first half, but <laughs> I no, wanted one side in the I'd, first half. I'd like to notice more of it in the second half. And, and it's it's a simple one. When a wide receiver catches a slant at seven yards and takes it 70, there's a problem. Somebody needs to hit the guy. Somebody needs to be a little bit physical. Somebody needs to be willing to tackle the guy and bring him to the ground. Too many missed tackles, too many explosive plays. And if you play defense like that, you should probably look in behind you and say, I think I'm going to get the other guy in because he's got to be better than this guy to start. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. Got a good... A lot of good games going. We're locked and loaded. We got all the big screens going. You're gonna be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. We're yeah. we loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. Are they stinky? <laughs> yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. Heading into the third quarter now. Tie ball game as we're set to resume play. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. And they make the stop at the 34. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. Hey, 
He's taken down around the 45-yard line. From their own 45-yard line, it's second down. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Brought down at the 42. Space to work, and he's tackled around the 29 yard line. We've got a first and 10, ball on the 29. He's tackled in the open field. on the play. So they wrapped him up before he could get anything going. Yeah, there was nothing there on that option. Here's the eighth play of the series. He gets out to about the 15-yard line. From the 15-yard line, it's third down. And he tackles him hard at the three. USC is looking to go up by three. It's up, and the field goal is good. Lynch looks ready to kick this one off. From his own goal line, he's to the 20, and he's tackled at the 24. Williams's consistency throughout this game really cementing his star status right now. Kirk, this is what we expected of him, and through three quarters, he's producing. Well, we knew coming into this game, as you said, he's one of the top quarterbacks in the country. And how can you not be impressed by what we've seen up to this point? I mean, he's making good decisions with the football, getting his teammates involved in the offense, but most importantly, he's not putting his team in any kind of bad situations. He just seems to be managing the game and not letting this game manage him. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Three down, three down. Watch 18. 18 the mic. Here we go, here we go. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 48. Fakes to the back. He dives and he'll be marked down. It's second down and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. And now he pitches it. Gains his way to the 29-yard line. Got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see movement on the other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. So the penalty will make it first and 15. They'll 
work the left. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. out to about the 31. 3rd down and they need to get it to the 19. There's the strike complete. Well, they get all those yards, but come up just shy of the first. Good play call. Almost perfect execution, except for the fact that they're not going to get the first down. Tulane is looking to tie things up. Kicks away, and it is good. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Man, both offenses here in this third quarter have been on fire. Time for the defense to step to the forefront a little bit. Makes you wonder which of these defenses has the ability to come up and make a stop. It could be one of those games where whichever defense comes up with that stop could be the team that wins the game. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You got to make every possession count. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh. Blue 19. Cut. Get to that quickly. Tackle right around the 36 yard line. From their own 36 yard line. First down. A strike complete. He's down. And he's hit immediately. And for Williams, he gets to 300 yards passing on that last completion. He's been able to get up and down the field all day today, moving consistently and effectively. And they're going to really need this kid to keep pulling through because this still is anyone's ball game. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. down 10 to go ball on the 32 and he carries the ball for a nice game run left side He's tackled around the 22-yard line. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. And he throws it away. USC could take the lead with this field goal. He gets it up, and it's good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. He's tackling at the 28. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And he has it on the corner. He's to the 40. 
He's at midfield. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 45. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 45-yard line. Quick pass, and he hits him hard at the 38-yard line. Seven yards there. Hey, we picked up an ice gain of seven yards on that play. Great pass. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Well, give the defense all the credit here. They had that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. From the 40-yard line, third down. They come out in an empty backfield. And he's taken down around the 28-yard line. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. He's scrambling, and they got him. It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. He did a wonderful job of fighting off blocks to bring the quarterback down. So the sack makes this a second and long. Three down, three down. Mike 18, Mike 18. Black five, black five. Grabs a pitch, looking for the corner. He gets hit out of bounds at the 20-yard line. it to the 18-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 18. Fires out quickly to the tailback. And he's tackled in the open field. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Five wide. Fires it out. They'll bring him down at the two. It's first down. They've got four cracks at it inside the five. It's first and goal. There's a little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. And he is drilled at the five. The running back gets two on the carry. Second down and goal. Ball on the five yard line. Pressure got to him, and he put it on the ground. Picks up the fumble. Tackle made at the 15-yard line. Yep, and this is why you need to know where the ball is at all times. And how about that for some good luck? Third and goal, and they can already taste the lead. He's got room. Tulane is down three and looking to tie it up. Kicks up, and they tack on three points. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He'll return it from the one. 
He's taken down at the 24-yard line. So with one quarter remaining, 27-27 ball game. All tied up, and we head to the all-important fourth quarter. We might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. Takes the ball right, and they'll bring him down behind the line. Really good play here and run support by the linebacker. The big guys up front took away the running lanes, and he was able to get through for a loss. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on their own 22. Throws a bullet over the middle. And down he goes at about the 29-yard line. the 37-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 37. Check three, check three, check three. Quick throw caught by the fullback. And he's level at the 41-yard line. three-yard line. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Brought down at the 44. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. He's out to the 30. Gets out to about the 31. For USC, their pass rush has really been impressive today, Kirk. This is turning into a day that the offensive line wants to forget. This offense's best bet seems to be to keep the ball on the ground. No, they haven't. So maybe they should just focus a bit more on the running game to mix it up and keep the defense guessing. One thing the defense doesn't want to do here is allow any big plays. And you know, it's basically like we're starting from zero here in a one-quarter game now. Every possession is vital. Tackled after a decent pickup. From their own 36-yard line, second down. He airs it out. Missed him. And they just couldn't connect there on the long ball. Well, that's one the quarterback wants back. He just had a little too much on that pass. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. He might have a chance. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. From the 49-yard line, first down. Mike 18, Mike 18. Spears takes it left. Nice run there as they work the outside. You don't want to let your running backs keep getting in the loss of yardage situations. It'll wear down the best of them. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 39. He 
goes out of bounds. Right around the 44-yard line. Glover can pin him deep in their own territory with a good punt here. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kirk. Well, it's been fun to watch him because he's doing everything you want to see in a quarterback. He's making the right read. He's getting the ball out of his hands on time. And it's giving his receivers a chance to make the play and get upfield. It's time to see what else he's got up his sleeve because his team can use another boost right here. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 21-yard line. Up the middle for a nice game. Six-yard line. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 36. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Field. Well, these days, you've got safeties playing up close to the line of scrimmage, almost like a fourth linebacker. The only way that you can keep them from cheating up is to take some chances downfield. Third down again. Tackle around the 45-yard line. Jackson is the deep man awaiting the return. He fields the punt at the 16, and down he goes at the 20. And for Spears, it's been a fun afternoon. Well, it's a lot of fun when you're not getting touched until you get to the second level of the defense. That way, he has plenty of room to be able to make some big plays. You know, it's his ability to fight for extra yards that I think is really standing out to me because the defense is there many times to make the play, but his determination and strength, I think, at this point, has just been too much for this defense to handle. The great running clinic he's putting on is all fine and dandy, but they're not ahead on the scoreboard, so we'll have to see how many more carries he gets. We might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field that hasn't occurred to anyone they want to end this thing in regulation tackle for a loss excellent job by the defense to diagnose the play so quickly this is really a well-coached unit from their own 16 yard line second down throws complete and he stopped immediately Receiver screen falls incomplete. They looked a little sluggish on that series. I'm curious to see if they pick things up when they get the ball back. Glover awaits the snap. <laughs> Tackle at the 48 yard line. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. Here's the halfback. A yard, maybe two on the carry.
from the 46 yard line. It's second down. run up the middle. Toss across the middle, and he's taken down at about the 27 yard line. Just under three to go in regulation. He gets out to about the 17 yard line. From the 17 yard line, first down. him down for a loss. One yard loss for the halfback. Nice run there. Jones picks up five with the carry. So we're looking at another third down here. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see movement on the other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. Two minutes left in the ball game. It's up, and it sails through the uprights. Williams's leadership really showing up right there, Kirk, as he got him in field goal range. That's just a gutty, gutty performance right there, Brad. Here's a kid who ignored all the pressure and moved his team into position for the potential game-winning field goal. You talk about clutch. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. From his own goal line, he's to the 20. He's tackled at the 25-yard line. Flag down, and I'm not sure when it was thrown. Let's find out. So they'll move back after that costly penalty, and they'll have to try to get that yardage back here. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. He throws right. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. They line up at the 12. It's second down. He's going to try and scramble. They'll bring him down at the 15. He scrambled, but he didn't get much. Brad, this defense reacts too quickly for a scramble like that to work. He needs to spread him out a little bit more to try to create more room to run. Tackle made at the 28. At the 38 yard line. Hey, kill, kill, kill. Where? Red, two, three. Caught out in the open. And they make the stop at the 46. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Green 
He scrambles. He takes off, and he hits him hard at the 45. What is going on with his defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs, and they're executing well, but the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive. Attack. Do some things to change it up. Take some risks. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on the 42-yard line. Under a minute left in the game. quarter now and with that score this game's a one possession ball game and it's really going to get tense from here on out and he adds the extra point the kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off excellent kick This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Trojans have got to be just a little bit careful that they lean too much on a star player here in this stage of the game. Yeah, but having a quarterback that understands what this defense wants to try to do to slow this offense down is very, very important. Now he's just got to stay calm, make good decisions, and move his offense down the field. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. The Trojans taking their first time out of the half. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. As a man, he'll lose big yards. That's a loss of four yards. But that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. Here comes the pressure. Quick throw. He's taken down at about the 37-yard line. Complete. He's got room. Brought down at the 27. Ruin, ruin. Blue Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. What a play, and that is first and goal. They'll line up with five wide receivers. From the eight yard line. Second down. Mike 35, Mike 35. What a miracle. There's no time left on the clock. Unbelievable emotion after that score because now they've got the lead and they know that they can win this game in regulation. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. He makes the PAT. USC staff just dancing on the sideline. Their star player came through for them, and they couldn't be happy. Well, the staff has to feel good. The entire team should feel good. And I know you and I just having a chance to sit back and, and watch this young man play. Uh, just an outstanding performance and something that this entire team will be able to build on. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.